from setting themselves on fire to kidnapping and even pimping out their very own mothers on stream. This is a list of the top 7 most outrageous things meme coin developers have ever done to launch their tokens. Meme coins have come a long way from being just a lovable dog championed by a crazy billionaire on one of television's most popular TV shows. This time round, it's a whole lot simpler as just about anyone can create a meme coin of their own. Kind of like Mikol over here, the founder of the Truth or Dare token. And yes, the name pretty much says it all. To commemorate the launch of the token, Mikol dared himself to be shot at with fireworks. And of course, this went exactly as you'd think it would, as Mikol's life was put in grave danger when he was set on fire as the exploding fireworks engulfed his body in flames. This caused him significant bodily harm as he was immediately rushed to hospital where he would spend a few weeks recovering from his injuries. He later uploaded a video from the hospital bed in which he claimed to be in good health, stating that this was just the beginning. I'm right here. I'm not leaving y'all. I'm not giving up on what we made and what we created. These injuries would include both second and third degree burn marks that required him to undergo a skin graft over his entire body. I had to cut the top layer of my thigh, put it on here and then put it on my chest and like under my armpit. You'd think he learned his lesson, but it was in fact the opposite, as the Dare Token's market cap had justified his actions, reaching a whopping $1.3 million at its peak. And as you guessed it, Mikol was soon back to his old tricks. However, this time opting for water instead of fire. Smart choice, Mikol. Now if you're wondering about his token, well, it's still alive and kicking, albeit with a significantly smaller market cap of just $46,000 and it remains to be seen whether or not there will be any fireworks in the Dare Tokens price range anytime soon. What is up everybody, welcome to the channel, my name is Ubaid, and if you enjoyed that first one, just wait, there's a whole bunch more to come, including one where the developer lost up to $10 million of other people's money by simply clicking the wrong button. For now, I'm going to need you to click the right button by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Now setting yourself on fire is not the only way to turn up the heat, as this family duo proved. This token went by the name of Live Mom and it was launched by a teenage kid. However, he was not the star of the show. His mom was, or at least parts of her. Streaming on the Notorious Kick website, this teenager had promoted the token by having his mom show off her assets in the video. This obviously seemed to have worked with thousands tuning in to admire the advertising because why wouldn't they? With a bunch of teenage kids in the chat, unlocking certain achievements became the goal. Of course, these achievements were only unlocked once the token reached a certain price. Now the token peaked at around $300,000 before something unsuspected happened. His phone died. This sent the token price plummeting with it losing hundreds of thousands of dollars in less than five minutes. By the time the teenager got everything back online, the hype had already died down, with many of the viewers experiencing a bout of post-nut clarity. However, some people do believe that this was done intentionally and that the kid used this opportunity to dump most of his tokens. The token then failed to live up to its previous rating as it swung down to a double D. Sitting perky at around a $14,000 market cap, you might still be able to squeeze whatever milk is left out of the live mom token. Now if fire and boobs haven't surprised you, then perhaps kidnapping would, as it's the next one on this list. This one showed up as a live stream with a kid named Roman appearing in what looked like someone's garden, pretending to be a forest. The boy named Roman was supposedly kidnapped, as seen here placed on his knees with a backpack over his head. The kidnappers would then poke at him with a stick whilst Roman begged them to let him go. Of course, there were some stipulations attached to the price action, as viewers would have to purchase the token in order to engage with the stream. It would cost them $10,000 to punch him, $20,000 to hit him with sticks, $40,000 to roll him over, and well, you get the picture. With the main target being $100,000, the price wasn't too far out of reach. Of course, as soon as this token saw its very first price increase, it was immediately rug pulled as the stream ended and Roman vanished along with everyone's money as well as his captives. In one of the most obvious rug pulls of the century, a guy created a token called Hands, in which he posed with a paper underneath his chin stating, I have no hands, I can't do a rug pull. And while lo and behold, he lied. After only 3 minutes of streaming and over a dozen people buying into the token, 
The man then went on to reveal that he did in fact have hands and that he could also use them to sell all of his tokens live on stream. The tokens amounted to just over $1,000, which is not bad for a dishonest day's work. The weirdest part about all of this is that the token is still around today, and even more than that, people are still buying into it, even though the developer has abandoned the token. Sitting at $11,000 in market cap, you could still get your hands on the hands token. With a live mom token pioneering the way, they would of course be copycats, with streaming trends like live sys popping up. This project emerged on kick with the goal of reaching $100,000. And in the event of them reaching their $100,000 goal, the streamer would promise to reveal his sister's breasts live on stream. What's even crazier is that they actually managed to reach this goal, at which point the sister went on to reveal her breasts live on stream. Now, I don't know about all of you, but I'm pretty sure that is a man wearing a bra and a wig. The token was then instantly rug pulled as it made its way down to $3,000, where it now sits in wait hoping for the next manly boob show to begin. Now this next one involves a bit of fighting and a loss of a lot more than just a few thousand dollars. Two teenagers launched a token on Radium and sought to promote it by fighting one another in a boxing match live on stream. The higher the token went, the more violence they would add to their in-house boxing match. Equipped with headgear and boxing gloves, the two went at one another after launching the token. However, not long into the stream, everything came to an abrupt halt when one of them had knocked out the other's teeth, forcing them to cut the stream short and rush off to hospital. Now, the token didn't manage to go anywhere and they never seemed to return again, most likely due to some encouragement from their parents. Never ever have the words been worth $10 million. Until now. Introducing Slurf, a meme token that took the world by storm when one of the developers accidentally lost $10 million in pre-sale by clicking the wrong button. Yep, he managed to deposit $10 million worth of pre-sale into a wallet that nobody had access to. He then took to Twitter to express just how astonished he was and, well, what happened next was something nobody would have imagined. This ridiculous feat of losing $10 million of other people's money with the click of a button had instantly gone viral, but for all the right reasons. Thousands of people then immediately rallied behind him and united to purchase the Slurf token, as this pre-sale narrative drew multiple exchange listings. This enabled them to reimburse everyone that had initially invested into the token via airdrops. Since then, the token has managed to stay a relevant player in the meme coin space, with it currently boasting a $77 million market cap. The developers have also gone on to create an NFT collection, proving that they are here for the long haul. And the initial mistake of losing over $10 million may just have been a masterstroke after all. So in this instance, I think it's pretty fair to say that the words could also be used for a happy ending.